Gotham safety pin. Welcome back to Let's Free Play Lego Batman. And this time around, we are going to go through the sewers. Yep, again. So, let's get a quick uh, head count on who we have in our team here. Once the black goes away. There we go. Okay, we have Bob the Goon. We have Firefly. Killer Croc. Two-Faced Goon. Huntress. Dick Grayson. Scarecrow. And that's our team. So, let's get going into the sewers. Now, you might be wondering why I'm being a bit quiet here. Um, that's because it's about 10 o'clock at night. I just got home from uh, seeing the, Aven the Avengers for a second time with my family. Uh, the first time I got to see an IMAX with my boyfriend. And we could not get any seats closer than like right in the second row. So we ended up sitting right in the second row watching an IMAX 3D The Avengers. And we were so far into that film, it was ridiculous. It was, it was stupid how close we were to that screen. Why did they even make seats that close? And anyway, first real clue. And I, I don't know how many of you out there have ever been to an IMAX theater, but it's like this huge theater. The screen is as big as a freaking football field, I swear to God. It's enormous. Um, and we were right close up to the screen. We were right in the second row of seats away from the screen. So, yeah. Uh, and we saw that opening weekend. And the second time, I just got to see it again tonight. Not in 3D, but... It was a lot better the second time around because you could have, you could see all the details actually. <laughs> um, anyway, enough about Avengers. Um, although I will say if you haven't seen it, you would need to. It really is the best film you will see all summer. I am serious about that. Um, seriously, just spring the eight bucks or whatever it costs you to go to the theater and go see it. You will not be disappointed. If you have not seen it yet, you need to. But on the subject of the game. Uh, we are going to open this big wall with Killer Croc for a, for our first canister. And we have four more to collect. We have just about everything missing in this level because, well, there's a whole bunch of stuff in the sewer levels you missed the first time around. And just to show you, uh, that you can't go any further, but that is where the Joker card is hidden. Huh. Lever. Bio suit. Who needs a bio suit? Anyway. Um, yes, we do have to do this tedious little puzzle, but... It's no big deal. No big whoop. Break everything. Put the blue blick, blue yeah blue blicks. Put the blue blicks in the <laughs> for glorious <laughs> English. Anyway, English as she is spoke. Anyway, um, really the majority of items in this um level, the majority of the canisters and stuff are hidden behind breakable walls and areas that you need um panels to access. So. We could not get anything the first time around because we didn't. We had a strength user, but we couldn't get up far enough to reach where the other items were. Um, unfortunately. But, that's not a problem now because we are playing in free play mode. I'm just gonna build that kid out of the way because I don't want that huge pile of bricks in my way making noise and it's annoying. You don't want to see that. I don't want to see that and I don't want to hear it. I don't need to see that. Anyway, I'm gonna switch off to Joker here. Switch back to Dick. For some reason, this copy of the game really likes to put Dick Grayson in my team, rather than, like, say, Nightwing or Robin. I don't know why that is. Maybe I just keep randomly rolling the die, and I mean, there's only so many shoot-using characters anyway, and, like, half of them are villains. So I think, really, it just the odds, the luck of the, luck of the draw. I think there's maybe, like, four or five shoot-users, and when your odds are that good when it's one out of like four or five and your odds are that good just showing off that we do have two more clues and i think a couple canisters to find uh no red brick in this level we already got it in the hero version of the video there's our next canister now we are one closer but anyway um i completely lost my train of thought <laughs> i wish i could remember my train of thought but i can't remember my train of thought um i think i was talking about bob the goon yep talking about how retarded Bob the Goon is. Um, this is showing off, well first I'm gonna go, um, explore over here, but you're gonna see when I come back, I'm showing, I'm showing off, um, one of the limitations of the AI. There's nothing around here, I'm just kind of, uh, exploring a little bit. Nothing too fancy to notice around here, but check out what Bob's doing. Bob. 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 You are my number one guy, Bob. Anyway, 
I mean, look what he's doing. He's just running back and forth. And this is a limitation of the AI. Um, <laughs> what happens is that um, the AI is trying to follow me into the toxic waste, but it's not smart enough to realize it should switch to a toxin immune character. Bob, I think you may be fired. Yeah, you're fired, Bob. You're fired. You are not a very smart goon. <laughs> That's nothing. You should see what I did to Razor. Anyway, up we go. I'm gonna pull this lever over here. And pull some platforms because Bob cannot walk into Toxic Goo because he is inferior to me. So, we're just gonna jump up these things. Well, punch the platforms first, and then jump up. Jump up these platforms to the magical land of mystery and wonder. There is a magical land in mystery and wonder in the Gotham City sewers. It is called Killer Croc's Lair. You should go there for a vacation. I'm sure Killer Croc would be very happy to have you there. Bob, you are fired. You're going to go over here, and we are going to swap you out for someone more competent, like Dick Grayson. That is your last thing you get to do ever, Bob, because you suck. So. Um... Not really much over here to do, but we do need to use uh, Dick's acrobat skills to get up here to the hero area. And if you go up here and- No, Dick! No! Throw your batons. I guess Dick doesn't have a battering attack, a razor ring attack. Actually, he does, but I don't- For some reason, the game wouldn't let me trigger it. So, you don't get to see Dick's razor ring. Um... Yeah, and if you notice, if you pause the game at a very specific point while your character is throwing a Razor Rang, you will notice that every Razor Rang wielding character has Razor Rangs of a, of a different color. Batman has black and yellow ones. Uh, Robin has, I think, green ones, red, red and green ones. Um, they're tinged with green, red and green. Uh, I think Batgirls are blue and yellow. Um, Dicks are black and blue. And then the Jokers are Razor Cars. And here's our, I believe, our second clue. Yeah, second clue. We're going to explore off to uh, the other side. We're going to go where we need to go, because the bad guys got to do what the bad guys got to do. I did not need to build that. Why did I build it? I don't know. I'm just ever so fond of building things. And I just realized we are only halfway through this video. Wow, this is a long video. I think this is one of the longer free play videos I took. I'll have to double check that. Um, one of the longer ones. Yeah, one of the longer ones, I think. Um, with the exception of some of the Joker ones. Yeah, one of the Joker ones is like 16. Another one... I think another one in the villains is like... Like, something like... Yeah, I have one that's 15 in the villains. But there is one Joker one that's like 16 minutes, and there's another Joker one in the hero one that's like 15, so... This one is, I think, the longest of the videos in the villain segment. I think there might be one Riddler one, but I'm not positive. Um, one of the longer ones in the hero segment, the hero version of this, is close to 19 minutes long. And I am not even making that up. I am dead serious. I could not make that up if I tried. There's nothing special in here, but I always like to come in here anyway just to make sure, because you never know. Plus, it's a good way to grind for studs. And stud grinding is the favorite pastime of every boy and girl in Legoland. That's how they make money. So, the, the Joker, use the panel. Just use the panel. Use it. Use it. Oh, I guess I already used it. My bad. I didn't realize that. <laughs> Whoops. Smart I do not have. But anyway, going through here, I believe there is something in here for the there is something in here for the villains, but the red brick is obtained from this area. We already got it. So we don't need to go for the red brick anymore. We have the red brick for this level. But I believe there's a canister in here we need to get. So punch some cubes. Yeah, punch some cubes. Those are cubes. Punch some computers. Why are there computers in the sewer? I don't understand. Oh no. I guess we got everything in here. Never mind. Whee! Come take a bath with me. Um, and then I, I remembered, oh yeah, there's a clue in the other area, and then there's some canisters in the other area as well. There's one outside in the, um, next room. There's one in the area where we have to free Catwoman, and then you get one from getting all the clues. And I think one of the clues is in the last area, so we do have a little bit yet to go. I think part of the reason this video is so long is because I dicked around in here way too much. What, what, what are you doing? What are you 
you doing, Joker? Oh, that's right. I took the wrong path. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't realize I took the wrong path there until it was too late. I'm gonna climb up this ladder and go the true direction of victory. First build this lever. The lever of glorious victory. And winning. Winning. And tiger blood. And Adonis DNA. That reference was way old. Why did I make that reference? I am so out of touch with the times. I feel like Captain America in the Avengers. So out of touch with the times. I actually get that reference. And that is a lot of hearts. Normally the game does not give you that many hearts at once. Wow. Um, congratulations, you guys. You've gotten to see more than one uh, heart on screen at once in this game. That very rarely actually happens. Usually you don't end up seeing more than like one, maybe two. Um, I'm just gonna go around and break all this stuff. Oops. I didn't mean to fall into that. That was the incorrect thing that I meant to do. I actually meant to run all the way over here and finish breaking stuff. Like these police cars. Fuck the police! Fuck the police! Fuck these boxes! And there is something up here, so let's head up here if Dick will latch onto the wall. Come on, Nightwing, please don't be a dick. Ha <laughs> ha! That was a terrible joke, and I didn't even intend to make that joke, I swear to god. Um, the reason we need Dick to do this is because only a hero guy can get up here, and Nightwing is a hero, so we need to use Nightwing, or Robin, um, or one of their variants, and that gives us a canister. Now we are one canister closer to finishing this wretched level. God, I hate the sewer levels. They really are one of my um, least favorite parts of the game, just for the fact that they take a long time. They're tedious, they're boring, there's not a lot to them, they're generic, they're not even interesting. It's, it's pretty much this game follows every cliche in the video game book. Except for the Advancing Wall of Doom, there is no Advancing Wall of Doom. But it does get dangerously, dangerously close at one point. Actually, I'm, I'm pretty sure they pretty much had that drop out of favor. I cannot think of very many modern video games that have an advancing wall of doom anymore. I mean, I know there are a couple, but I think that was really a 90s trope. Oh, also, yeah, um, tightrope characters can carry bricks across tightropes. Blue bricks can be carried across tightropes. Um, they cannot be carried through chutes. They cannot be grappled with. Um, and I don't think that you can bring them onto suit swap pads. You always end up dropping them if you do. Something like that. Um, and I think it's because of how the game, uh, programmed some of those sprites, really. And because they would have to program the whole disappearance of the blue brick, and I think because they would, well, for the shoot, they need two hands to jump through anyway and get some force behind it. Um, I don't know why they can't grapple with one, though. It only takes, like, one hand. Then again, I guess some characters aren't that strong. Like, the Joker is not exactly, you know, the Incredible Hulk. And yes, I just used one character from Marvel to reference to refer to another from the DC Universe. What of it? But, um, the Joker's not exactly a strong man, so I guess that would explain why he needs both hands, but... I don't know. It seems kind of weird that Batman cannot carry something in one hand and then, you know, get grapple with the other hand. I mean, he has a grapple gun. Does he really need both hands? He's carried people while he's grappling. Um, I believe at one, there's, at, there's one point in Batman 89 where he carries Vicky Vale out of the museum grappling. Um, so, yeah. So, it, it just kind of is a little bizarre to me. I mean, there's a lot of weird things in this game. Like, for example, um, how does Victor Zaz know how to grapple? Yes, Victor's ass can grapple in this game, and I do not know why, um, and I don't know how, either. That certainly makes, uh, Batman Arkham Asylum a lot scarier. Victor's ass can grapple. You can't hide on gargoyles, you can't hide anywhere, because he can grapple. It scares me. Just a little bit. You're hiding up in, like, a vent, and surprise! He grapples ass. <laughs> You're hiding in a... Hiding on a gargoyle, surprise, grapples ass. Hiding on a building, surprise, grapples ass. It's almost like surprise butt sex, but with more stabbing. And slicing. And tally marks. 
And now we are one step closer to getting that final canister, but we need the final clue for that, which is all the way up here. So we are going to have to switch over to Nightwing here, jump up through the chute, uh, break some boxes, and that did not contain the final clue, but this big explodey box back here does. Build that first. Uh, as we blow up that explodey box, then we can surely get its contents. I'm sure there's something good in there. And behold, final riddle our clue, final canister. And I believe we now have everything in this level. So, one more thing. Huntress's bow gun can be used to shoot those target reticules. Those reticules. So the guns, her projectiles count, her arrows count as a gun-type projectile for whatever reason. One more final check to make sure, and open the wall. That's free Catwoman. Hey, a catsy! Anyway, level complete. True villain, 100%. And all the mini canisters. We have unlocked the Penguin Submarine and the Killer Croc Joker card. So, there we go. We are finished with this level. I will see you next time for the Arctic World. Until then, farewell.